can you give any advice about how people balance that need to identify oneself as an author if pointing people to your books is one of your goals against being a good literary citizen? Well, as someone who's on social media quite a bit, when there is someone who is talking about my work or responding to my work or taking a picture of my book, in other words, spreading the word about what I do, I'm always curious about, okay, where is this person from? How did they find it? What did they get from it? And I almost always take a look at their profile or their bio or their website. Just it's simple curiosity. So when you are engaging in these activities, you can count unless we're talking about a huge blockbuster person, let's say Stephen King, there must be hundreds, if not thousands of mentions of him on any social media site in an hour. But I'm talking about someone who would be more of a peer or a colleague, or maybe just a few rungs up the ladder, not a blockbuster. In any event, people are paying attention to the mentions. And then you have to make sure that your bio And to some extent, your photo too is telling the story of who you are and what you do and that you're being thoughtful and efficient in how you're communicating that. Some people, for example, will use a photo that's not of themselves, but it'll be something clever. I've even seen people use things that are like a flower, a glass of water. (laughs) It has nothing to do with their work or with their writing. So you want to be more direct about what you're doing on social media, assuming you do want to build relationships, have a photo that somehow makes sense. Like I've seen authors who will literally hold up their book next to their face in their photo. You don't have to do that, but I think it works. And then usually profiles also have some sort of banner image or there's some other complimentary visual. And that's a place to put your book or something that's related to your publishing career. 